The NBA making a big bet on esports. That's professional video gaming. Joining forces with video game maker Take Two Interactive. I spoke with NBA Commissioner Adam Silver and Take Two CEO Strauss Zelnick earlier this morning asking what the goal of the partnership will be. Take a listen. It's a whole new parallel universe. The idea here is it's based on the same bricks and mortar model of a league that we currently operate, but it opens up an entirely new world. So rather than de being dependent on a limited pool, even though a global pool of players who have a certain physical prowess, this opens up a league to virtually everyone, regardless of your age, sex, height, ethnicity, nationality, Everyone's on equal footing in this league. It's just a question of how good a gamer you are. But the structure will be very similar to the NBA. So rather than having the Clippers, we'll have the E-Clippers, we'll have the E-Knicks. And the notion is that these teams will draft, just like in the NBA, they'll be drafting a different set of players, though. So no existing NBA players will be involved, but they'll be drafting the best gamers who will then compete in a five-on-five -five competition. And they'll be full-time employees of this league and competing against each other, sometimes in remote sites, sometimes in actual NBA arenas where people will come and watch the competition. I know, but uh, are they NBA players the or are they me? That this is the way to go uh, with this esports push. I mean, it used to be in games, the challenge was to get the game to resemble real life from player attributes to facial expressions. This is a whole different take on, uh, on fandom. It's such a great question. You know, we. We are proud of the fact that the NBA 2K game is a great simulation of the game, an extraordinarily realistic simulation. But in the last few years, we've also added these powerful story elements where we track players and their stories, and we've turned the experience from a simulation experience into a lifestyle and an entertainment experience. Specifically with regard to competitive gaming, look, this is already a half a billion dollar market. The expectations are that it'll be a billion dollar market within a couple of years. And we together with the NBA have already set out to, to see how consumers would feel about this. In our first tournament last season, the road to the finals, we had over two million matches played for a $250,000 grand prize. And right now, uh, the all-star tournament is going on. Something like 500,000 teams are playing, again, for a $250,000 prize. So we've seen that people are incredibly excited about competitive gaming. And it's our view, our collective view, that what consumers are looking for is a professional league with professional players with a sport that's beloved, a sport that won't come and go, a sport that would only, will only grow in popularity. So we're just thrilled to be, to be part of what we believe is going to be a very significant enterprise. And Mr. Silver, you say that you don't have commitments from uh, the 30 teams yet, but you expect about half to participate in the inaugural season. How do you frame the business model for this? Is it in a share of the game's revenues with advertising on top of that somehow? Are, are there sponsorships? How do you expect that to evolve? Well, um, first of all, in terms of commitments from NBA teams, the only reason we don't have actual commitments is because we haven't asked for them yet. We went out and presented this concept to all 30 teams, and all 30 teams said they were interested. I think it's just a question in terms of the logistics for our teams and putting the resources against this league, how soon they'll have their, their e-version of themselves in this league. But it's my expectation that ultimately all 30 teams um, will participate. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.